I'm gonna walk you through a simple game plan to cook all sorts of main dishes and sides. Just combine any jewel cooked meat or seafood with a quick vegetable puree and a nice fresh salad. You'll never run out of ideas and dinner will always come out amazing. Ready? Salmon. Some say it's the steak of the sea. And like steak, salmon can be challenging to nail at home. That great buttery texture and flavor you get when salmon is perfectly cooked is tricky to replicate with traditional techniques. But we've got a way to help you make salmon that's not only as good as the one you get in a fancy restaurant, it's actually better. Even if you don't like salmon, this technique works for all your favorite fish, whether it's halibut, cod, grouper, trout, snapper, whatever. When you cook fish gently with Juul, it never gets hotter than the exact temperature you want it to cook to. That means it comes out exactly how you want it every time. Ready to see how it's done? Let's cook some salmon. Let's cook this fish! When we're cooking with Juul, the first thing to do is use visual dentists to select a temperature. You can see exactly how your fish will turn out and just pick the one that looks most delicious to you. I'm gonna go with 122 Fahrenheit. While that's heating up, Bonus tip, I'm gonna show you a couple tricks that you can use to upgrade your fish, no matter what technique you use. First, score the skin so it sears up crispier and faster. Then, sprinkle some salt and sugar all over the fish and let it sit for about 10 minutes. Then you're gonna rinse it with a little bit of ice water before you cook it. That's gonna help firm up the fish and give it a deep seasoning that you can't get by just throwing on salt the last minute. Okay, I'm gonna pop the fish in a Ziploc style bag. Then add a little bit of oil and some seasoning and drop my salmon in Juul. These guys cook for about a half an hour, but I can leave them in Juul for up to an hour if I want without overcooking them, so there's plenty of time to make some sides. Today, I'm gonna do a cauliflower puree and a gorgeous red bean and onion salad that comes together real fast. All right, so let's get started on the puree. First, I'm gonna take my head of cauliflower, you just kind of shave it up into bits. You're gonna put that in a pot, a little bit of water, and a little bit of butter. Bring it to a boil, make sure it's nice and tender, Pop it in a blender and blend it until it's very smooth. Gonna put it back in the pot, put the pot on the lowest temperature setting on the stove and leave it there until you need it. I'm gonna finish up with the salad. You're just gonna take some canned red beans, mince up some onions, some parsley, hit it with a little bit of lemon, olive oil, salt and pepper, that's it. Jewel says my salmon's ready, so now let's just finish the fillets on the stove to crisp up the skin. First, you wanna grab a non-stick pan and make sure it's ripping hot. Here's how you can tell. You're just gonna put a little drop of water on it and you wanna have a nice sound. Just remember, when you're cooking fish sous vide with Juul, it's super tender. So when you're sliding out of the bag, fold over the edge of the Ziploc bag and boop, slide the fish right onto a plate, nice and neat. So we're gonna sear it for about a minute, skin side down or until it looks good. Then plate everything up. Let's check it out. Look at how buttery. And that's it. You can use a simple game plan to cook all sorts of main dishes and simple sides. Just combine any jewel cooked meat or seafood with a simple veg puree and a salad for an amazing dinner. For more amazing dinner ideas, check out ChefSteps.com. We have so many recipes and techniques that'll help you kill it every night of the week. And while you're there, order yourself a jewel. You won't regret it.